going on guys Kyger here we have the patch notes as well as a new fairy first let's talk about the server merge they were pushed back uh, SA is going to be tonight at 5 p.m. to uh, sorry 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. server time 1025 and NA is going to be the night after so Thursday 2 a.m. to 6 a.m. Uh, um, event reset is at midnight and uh, daily reset is at 5 a.m. so you have to be careful with getting your things done then we have the actual patch notes optimize level difference between mentor and apprentice from 5 to 2 this is going to be really really nice uh, you can get apprentices up to two levels under you which is going to help uh, definitely newer servers a whole lot even uh, ones in the 120s 130s 140s uh, that's going to be very very helpful remove red dot from starleaf garden I think it's every uh, three to five minutes that you can pick up rewards from starleaf garden and whenever they are available no matter how small the rewards are it will show up as a red dot and that is going away costume fixes and bug fixes awesome then we have the Halloween event uh, which uh, right here the lead uh, discord mod says the 25th so tonight at midnight server time when it when event reset happens we should have some Halloween stuff going then we have the new fairy this is what I showed you guys before and now she's back here uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce her name damage increase DPS we have defense crit block break so and the numbers are kind of low so I'm not looking at her as a uh, level 400 unit then we have a complicated passive and a complicated ultimate uh, the passive uh, takes effect when the flower fairy current class is her uh, damage of the ultimate is reduced by 15 percent every time the ultimate is released and hits an enemy layer of starlight start out lasts for 60 seconds every layer gives benefits so most fairies ultimates are 30 second cooldown uh, hers may be different just because it want seems like it wants you to do it more often and so if it's the 30 seconds like normal then you can have one two three stacks which at the max three stacks you have nine percent damage increase and ten percent uh, ignore block then you see we have more at four uh, through six and seven this tells me that uh, her cooldown on her ultimate is probably going to be super low uh, which is going to be a huge thing in this game because fairy ultimates are normally game breakers uh, damage increase scales all the way up to 70 percent then we have her active right here uh, sun challenging star her uh, basic attack doesn't do anything special so it's just this guys star energy deals aoe damage it actually scales pretty high uh, but remember it's minus 15 percent so it's eh. uh, and at the same time use the power of the stars to baptize the master which is you during the baptism the current duration of debuffs reduced by 25 percent for three seconds and the current duration of buffs increased by 25 percent for three seconds uh, then at 2, 5, and 8 it gets better. So at 2, uh, do, 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 the duration of the debuffs uh, is reduced by 50% instead of 25% uh, for 6 seconds. And the duration of buffs is increased by 50% for 6 seconds. So what's notable here is this is going to be very powerful for something like Glad Priest because gladiator when you release a gladiator type skill you get um, immunity to knock down a knockback for a short amount of time you give it plus 50 it might actually be able to be used when you're not ca just casting the skill as well as your priest uh, priest buffs priest passive uh, all these things are going to be very very powerful getting a 50 percent buff this is also going to be a big thing for something like marksmen with their never miss I think with the plus 50% and any kind of cooldown, uh, you'll probably have 100% uptime on your never miss, which could be a powerful thing. Then let's check out 5 and 8, which are both right here. 
uh, debuffs lasting less than three seconds will be cleared continuously during the baptism. This line of text, I have several things of confusion here. So, because we're reducing debuffs by 50%, let's say I get hit by something with six seconds. It is now three seconds, but it was thrown as six seconds. So now that it's three seconds, when it's hitting me, am I going to clear that immediately because of this baptism or because it was a six second ball, I got to wait the uh, three seconds left. Or let's say I get hit with uh, four seconds after all the modifiers, whatnot, and then one second goes by and now it's down to three seconds. Is this going to clear it? It sounds like it will, but the wording can always sound weird in this game. So there's several ways this can work. Uh, I really hope that as long as it's three seconds or lower left, it clears it. Then the last at eight, uh, the skill cooldown is reduced uh, by 20%. Uh, assuming it's 30 seconds like everyone else, that's six seconds off, so 24 seconds, which doesn't change any of the math on the uh, bonuses. So the ultimate uh, cooldown is probably a lot less than 30 seconds. Let me know what you guys think down below. Until next time, guys.